beautiful Manitoba fall morning. Just taking off and uh, heading to the airport. By the end of this journey, end up in Uppsala in Sweden. So, got a few flights to go, kind of a plane, trains, and automobile kind of a day. Um, if all goes well, we're in there tomorrow morning, local time, probably 10, 11 o'clock, should hit our hotel. So, uh, that's only about 20 hours away from now. So, should be good. Check in with you on the other side. All right, only about six hours later than expected. It's been a long journey, but I think we're doing all right, Bryce. Look, we're all still upright. Made it all the way up to solid, so. Pictures really don't do this one justice. We'll try. Video. Look up. Bryce was again today working with the machine, a robotic washer. Took the thing apart, put her back together, figured out all the uh, wear points and what needs to be looked at. So it's great. We've got them fully trained up on the programming, the setup, and the mechanical service of it. So we're well covered that way. Um, I'd like to say I did nothing, but I guess we did something today. So. We've got all the plans in place to make sure that we can actually support it from, from both the sales and service side of it. The video here to show what we're uh, actually come to the barn to take a look at is this robotic washer, the Evo cleaner. That's the main reason we're over here in Sweden right now. Um, this is another finisher room like we were just in. Uh, you can see how messy those walls are. There was, uh, you saw on the other one, there was manure on those slats. I'll bring it over here. And you see, cave walls are nice and clean. I'll come back to that in a second. Here's the slats, nice and clean. This is the job the robotic washer did. Now you see those marks that are left. Um, that's that's when we start talking about doing, you know, uh, 80, 90 percent. Kind of depends on the programming. It's not going to be perfect, but I'll show you those. You see how those marks there are left at the top of the wall? That's just angles that are really tough to get at sometimes. So you get small marks that are left and not worth trying to move around or take the time to, to get at. But you see how they're very consistent, same shape, same, same place in every pen because it's just repeating that same program. So anybody who's coming back later actually has a very easy task in getting those, those spots because they know where they're going to be and they're easy to, to see. But again, from one side to the other, a lot of that job is done. No one actually has to sit there and fight that, that down. They come back later and they're able to just do those touch-ups. And we're good to start. They have different locations here, different rooms. The first two are uh, farrowing right, farrowing left, because they are separated rows like this. Uh, here we have uh, finishers right, finishers left, and some special locations. If we go to uh, finishers right, which is the right side of the room, we can select recipe, we can select ceiling, floor, or walls. Preferably if you can wash ceiling, you want to do that the first in the room because that also works as a soaking for the rest of the room. So we add ceiling to the first recipe. Second recipe would be floor. And then we add walls. Oops. And before we leave the walls, so we leave the walls. I 
Ich habe gesagt, ich habe gesagt, ich habe gesagt, ich habe He's actually training the robot what to do. So when it's standing still like that during programming, that's actually taken out in automatic mode. So it doesn't put the pressure on the programmer to move fast. They can take their time, think it through, make sure they know what movement is best to go next. But then the computer will actually, or the robot, We'll actually compile those and just make it a smooth program like you've seen it running before. It really helps doing it here. You can see where you're cleaning, what the results are, rather than just a dry run in the, in the shop. So. Okay, Bryce has just finished washing his first pen. Kind of hard to see with all the fog, but I'm going to set it up and let it actually go do one automatically. So, just... Have a look at this pen here currently. Get it to focus with all the fog. But that's how dirty that is, this pen wall is included. We're gonna hope to make it look like that. Just started it off. This is a, uh, a program that Bryce just did, as I said, in this pen. Now we're applying it to this pen. Let it run. And let's see what it does. Okay, it's still a bit foggy in here, so maybe hard to see, but there's the end result of Bryce's program. Just to give you a bit of a reminder of what it would have looked like before. He's done a pretty good job.